that was Nashville Worship with the Watery Grave. Here on your radio station, AM 930, The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Well, yesterday we started a little study on the book of Matthew, in particular, the Beatitudes. Now, yesterday we talked about verses 3 and 4. Today we're looking at verses 5 and 6, and this is what Jesus said. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, I looked up the definition in the Bible concerning what it is, and meekness is essentially an attitude or quality of heart whereby a person is willing to accept and submit without resistance to the will and desire of the Lord. So, basically, you willingly say, Lord, I am going to yield myself, and I'm going to submit myself to you today. I'm going to give it over to you, and I'm going to do it willingly. I'm not going to fight you on this thing. I'm going to do it willingly. And it was interesting that Moses was actually known as the meekest man on the earth. Now, meekness doesn't mean weakness. It just simply means submitting or yielding to the will, the plan, and the purpose of God. That's what it means. And Jesus did that willingly as well. He wanted to do the will of his Father. And one of the benefits of submitting to the Lord is found in James 4, 7. It says this, submit yourself therefore to God. That means willingly give yourself over to God. Say, God, you are large and in charge, and I am yielding my sovereignty, my autonomy over to you, and Lord, I'm waiting for the benefit. Okay, so what's the benefit according to James 4, 7? You will see the enemy flee from you when you resist him. That's what it says. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Willingly give your autonomy and a, uh, a, a sovereignty over to God and say, God, I am submitting to you. Now I am resisting the enemy. I'm looking the enemy in the face and saying, not on my shift you're going to do this. Not in my life you're going to do this. I am resisting your agenda of robbing and killing and destroying and I am going to now resist you in the name of Jesus. And that word for resistance means to, you know, to box. That is giving him the right cross. That means giving him the upper cup. That means giving the old soft paw. You're floating like a butterfly. You're stinging like a bee. And guess what? The enemy is going to flee from you. That's what it means. And so Jesus says simply this, blessed are the meek. He says, because they are going to basically inherit the earth. Isn't that a great promise? I mean, we one day are going to have all of this. You say, all of this? That's what the Bible says. <laughs> great benefit, isn't it? A little thought for you today. From your friends here at AM 930 The Light, Edmonton's Positive Talk. Be inspired by the Bible.